I would like to invite to the floor Deputy Assistant to the President of the United States, Ms. Curtis, please. Ambassador Bahaba, ladies and gentlemen, it's certainly an honor and a pleasure to be here this evening, uh, and also grateful for the attendance of uh, uh, Congressman Frank Kelly, uh, and grateful for his involvement uh, in the U.S.-Uzbekistan relationship. It's a critical role, and, and we're grateful to have the support of Congress uh, for this important relationship. And I'm also grateful to be here speaking this evening about the deepening relationship between the United States and Uzbekistan. In the last two and a half years, Uzbekistan has shown itself to be a force for change in a region, a region which is re-emerging as a true crossroads of trade and transit. Of course, we formally committed to growing this bilateral relationship during President Mirziyoyev's visit to Washington, D.C. in May 2018. Much has happened since then, and we intend to keep building from that historic event. During that visit, President Trump thanked President Mirziyoyev for his leadership in opening up Uzbekistan to the world and ushering in a new era of reform and change. Some of these changes have included legal and political reforms that reach across the Uzbek government, increased economic trade and engagement, both regional and global, the opening up of borders, and the resolving of old age disputes with neighbors. And these changes have rekindled regional cooperation. As an example, uh, as the Foreign Minister indicated, this fall, uh, Tashkent will host the second ever C5 summit. Uh, the United States strongly supports such gatherings. We believe that a regional bloc of cooperative partners in Central Asia will increase each country's ability to maintain its own individual sovereignty and enhance their choices to achieve economic independence. We applaud the many economic and legal changes uh, that we've seen in Uzbekistan, including the signing of the three Geneva Conventions guaranteeing intellectual property rights. This will help make the Uzbekistan economy more competitive and attractive for international business and investment. And these are the kinds of steps that will bring more business delegations to your country like that which traveled to Uzbekistan last month. This was the U.S. Department of Commerce certified trade mission that brought a number of Fortune 500 and other companies to Tashkent to consider trade and other opportunities. We recognize that Uzbekistan, its government and its people, face challenges in reforming and modernizing the country. And we also recognize that the daily work of implementing President Mirziyoyev's reform vision falls on you, uh, Minister Kamilov, uh, the other Uzbek ministers and officials here tonight, and of course, Ambassador Bahabov and his wonderful staff. But you should know that the United States is here to assist and support your efforts in any way that we can. We are working hard to support Uzbekistan as it seeks to adopt and implement reforms and change former policies. For instance, uh, we need to see uh, even greater progress on intellectual property rights in order to create that favorable business climate. We are providing technical assistance and critical advice to help solve problems, open markets, and streamline government. We also hope to work with Uzbekistan on combating the challenges of forced labor, um, noting the progress that we have seen over the past year. Um, also in opening the country to the free practice of religion and the 
that's why we're so uh, happy that the foreign minister is here for the International uh, Religious Freedom Forum. Uh, his uh, second time uh, attending this forum. And also encouraging civil society to play an active and constructive role in this process. So we're happy to assist <coughs> Uzbekistan as its people strive to engage and work in accordance with global standards. And as I mentioned, Uzbekistan is working diligently to improve relations with its neighbors, to resolve old disputes, and find historic areas of cooperation. President Mirziyoyev has also committed to work with the United States to finally bring peace and stability to war-torn Afghanistan. And nowhere was Uzbekistan's important role in this endeavor more evident than during the historic Tashkent conference hosted by Uzbekistan last spring. And we look forward to a future conference in Tashkent uh, for Uzbekistan to continue to play that helpful role in seeking to bring peace to Afghanistan. We are also uh, grateful uh, for the effort to find a sustainable peace uh, that involves all Afghans uh, and that uh, brings down the violence, eventually leading to a comprehensive ceasefire. And we also appreciate the role that Uzbekistan has played in assisting the Afghan government. Uh, they're developing power and rail infrastructure which will contribute to improving living conditions for the people of Afghanistan. So in short, our countries uh, have shared an interest, ha we have a shared interest in a more peaceful and stable Afghanistan. And we look forward to continuing our consultations and our efforts to work together on this uh, extremely challenging, yet ever increasingly terrible <coughs> goal. So let me just conclude uh, by noting that uh, there's no doubt that Uzbekistan faces many challenges, but each step that it takes along this reform path gets the country closer to achieving its full potential as a regional economic power. And the United States firmly supports Uzbekistan's independence and sovereignty, and we look forward to partnering with you to realize this bright future.